Speaking of, we got a special treat for y'all this week for Python on Hardware. It's uh, something that would normally be part of our top secret segment, but it's not. It's going to be part of this segment. So first up, um, I have to remind everyone, please go to Adafruit Daily. It's a completely separate website. There's nothing to do with your shopping account. We do not spam. We do not remarket. We don't even use tracking on the sites we don't need to. We do for our, uh, we have Google Analytics on our store, but we're trying to un-Googleify and untrackify anything we can where we don't need something. Um, we don't use that information, so why store it? Why track people? For um, Adafruit Daily, you can sign up anytime. Cancel. This is, I think, the only consistent Python on hardware newsletter. Um, we have thousands of subscribers. Do check it out. Um, we have a bunch of news. Um, Eben was hinting at an RP2040 successor, a new Pi Compute module. These are all things that you're going to run Python on. You can see some interesting things going on with um, the Python Software Foundation is like, hey, you're what do you mean open source authors might be liable for code and stuff like that? So they don't like that. You can check that out, the news stories. And then um, all the things that you expect, like projects that use CircuitPython and RP2040 and Raspberry Pi, you can check out the CircuitPython show, highlights who's on the show next. And then um, what um, things that we're doing with uh, Playground, which is our place where people can post stuff. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of projects. Lots of projects. Yeah, but this week we're going to do something a little different. Um, I'm going to ask Lady Ada to show off. Um, this normally would be top secret, but this is kind of a big deal for us. This is a completely Python powered digital camera. Oh, hold on. User interface. Let yeah. Me, yeah, let me get rid of it. How do I get rid of the interface? There you go. Sorry. So this is our Python powered digital camera. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So this is, I'm going to remove this. This is a battery, um, but this is a camera that uses circuit Python and it like acts like a digital camera, like a, what was that camera you had? Quick take. It's better than quick take though. It's five yeah. megapixels. So it's got a five megapixel. A completely open source Python camera. I think the first and only. Yeah. It's um, got the OV5640, which we've been selling for a bit. This one has autofocus mode. Uh, you have micro SD cards for storage. You can connect hardware and logger digital input or I squared C. Um, it's got an ESP32 S3 and it's got great circuit Python support and also has hardware support for communicating with these cameras. Um, there's a little spot here for the um, battery and the battery just sits nicely on top. Um, a uh, On the back here, I have the protecting case on it, but there's um, four up, down, left, right buttons. Uh, okay and select a little piezo um this is the shutter button there's also a reset button and a hardware on off switch and when it turns on you'll see it boots into um circuit python and then this is the sd card won't be loose on the final versions because I'm, I'm debugging and stuff uh but you can see it's taking a photo of the uh you know what's underneath and um what's cool is that this has autofocus mode so let's see if I can get it to, yeah. So you saw like it, it'll be able to take close up pictures of stuff. Um, and then there's also going to be a LED ring light. And the idea is that, you know, you'll be able to um, do a lot of stuff. Like, you know, people have open firmware for their cameras, but if you want to write your own um, like image filtering, or you want to like make a little GIF camera or a JPEG camera, um, or you want to have something that connects to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth that you can control and you don't have to go through like some third party website. Um, this is a Wi-Fi capable chip. And so um, it can send data, you know, like it can SMS you an image or upload it to Adafruit IO, or um, it can take commands um, from the internet over Bluetooth. So I think it'll be kind of neat to have like fully open source, like true open source firmware camera that you can code up yourself. Yeah. And for the folks out there that, um, are like, well, you know, I really want to own my electronics. I want to know what metadata is being put on photos. Well, I don't think there's another another thing that comes close. Um, yeah. You could build it yourself. You can upgrade it. You can do all the things. I think because cameras are so good, you got to go the other direction. Yeah. And this has uh... like something kind of retro. Hold on, let me see. It can it can do some modes. So uh, it's gonna come through. So this is inverted mode. It's it's very bright. The screen's bright. Yes, this is like inverted. 
Yeah. Uh, make your own filters. You could do all sorts of neat stuff. Black and white mode for like, um, oh, you know what? I didn't have the latest firmware. There's a dither mode that just got added. Um, so like a Game Boy camera, like sepia tones. And then, um, you know, using um, Microlab, which is like NumPy, you can um, add your own filters if desired. Yeah. So it's like you can have like your Instagram filter style. So, you know, one thing that I'll say about things like this is I don't know how we're going to teach the next generation of product designers to make things without stuff like this, because everyone's kind of growing up with like, here's a, you know, 30 megapixel camera in my phone. Someone has to learn how to make these things. And it's not just going to be like Apple and Google forever. Um, it's a good idea to, to to understand how these things are made and teach other people to do it. So this is like part of that curriculum or journey where it's like you learn how to make your own keyboard, you learn how to make your own, you know, blinking LED thing. Then you learn how to. We're gonna have a you know a cell phone, Python powered cell phone at some point. Um, you learn how to make your own Python powered digital camera. So all this stuff um, that you'd be able to build on your own and understand it. It's not gonna be the thing that you shoot your vacation photos on, but maybe. But it is the thing that you're it's gonna be able to cool like retro yeah. like holga-esque you know yeah. like again like an apple quick take stuff yeah. this isn't to use as a usb camera you can actually what's interesting you could have it act as a wi-fi camera but yeah. usb it actually doesn't have you, you need to have usb high speed to do um like a true but, webcam but, but you can day. transfer data across yeah. which isn't like it doesn't show you know we tried to have it show up but you can have it um act as a vnc i think and then you can have it yeah. appear on your yeah, computer. and then um, one day, you know, of course, as chips evolve and stuff like that, you know, we we, we tend to have a, a platform. This will be like the Memento platform for cameras, open source cameras. Oh, so somebody asked um, about half press for shutter. So it doesn't, it's not, there's no, we couldn't afford to get like a custom half press button, but if you hold down, it auto focuses. So long press is auto focus and short press is snap. Yeah. And, but you uh, can change that, right? It's like you can we yeah. it however you want so i think this just kind of fills again one of the boxes you can kind of make your own computer that's python powered we've had projects like that you can um make your own keyboard that's python powered now what about your own digital camera that's python powered yeah. so we think this would be a neat thing for um schools for just about everyone who's looking to say here's the fundamentals of what a digital camera is you can teach theory like here's photons here's how they you know go inside of a chip and here's how they make the image work. So we think this will be kind of cool to um, to explore. And uh, we'll say hello. Hi. OK. That is our Python on hardware this week, Lady Ada. Snapchat. Um, delivered each week in your mailbox. Python on hardware. Maybe all on native daily. OK, let's do